All right, on today's video, we are gonna do a pack dump. This is my 2024 setup. This is everything I need to do a backcountry hunt for 10 days. Regardless of the weather, uh, there's definitely still extra space in here. So uh, we'll start with the stuff I usually wear in, which would be my Kuyu Pro Bino Harness with the cell phone and rangefinder attachment. I usually keep my hinge in there. Uh, I hunt with a too smooth hinge and I usually keep an Allen wrench set in there. Um, that's all that I keep in there other than wind checker and, and stuff like that. So um, then usually strapped to the front here would be my bow. Um, I don't have it strapped on there right now but it fits just fine. It's very snug. Um, this is a PSE Evo XF33 turned up to 77 pounds, shooting a 533 grain arrow and uh, a bunch of titanium upgrades. I got 10 ounces on the back bar, four ounces on the front bar. Um, and that is the bow setup. So we'll just kind of start from the top and go down and empty this pack. The only thing that is not shown in this video is the tripod because I am using it to film this video. The tripod is a Vortex High Country version one. Um, I've had it forever, works great. That usually gets strapped right here to this side. Uh, I only bow hunt, so I never need one of the sides for a rifle. So that's just me though. Uh, we'll start with this side, Leckie Trekking Poles. Um, these are ultra lightweight, super good trekking poles. I always bring two, uh, mostly because my tent requires one at least to have my tent set up. So two Leckie trekking poles. Um, then going into the top lid, usually, I don't usually bring this with because I have enough charging capacity um, with me that I don't usually need it. Sometimes my chargers will go in the top lid or extra water, uh, but this is a solar panel in case I need a quick charge. So I got the solar panel and my toiletries bag, which usually has a mixture of deodorant, toothpaste, toilet paper, wet wipes, and a first aid kit, and then a lighter, and some other basic stuff. So that's what goes in there. Usually I'll fit like snacks, hats, schmogs, um, gaiters, anything extra that I might need will either go in this lid or in this front pocket. Um, there's a lot of extra space in both of these typically for me on a 10 day hunt. So that's what I use these for. <clears throat> The pack itself, this is a Stone Glacier Sky 5900. Um, I can get about 10 to 12 days, uh, 14 if I'm really conservative and know what the weather is going to be. Uh, I can get 14 days out of this pack, um, no problem. So, coming down, take the lid, fold it back. On the top here, got chargers, and then my water bladder, which usually just sits right here in the top. I'm gonna unroute this hose. So it's my water bladder, uh, three liters. Of water in the Kuyu Stalker Pro, which will attach to my bino harness if I need to take water on a stock. So that is the water. Water filtration. <clears throat> I've kind of started going away from this and just the Aquamira drops, but if I'm like really deep and I have the space, usually I will take this. This is a Catadyne Pro Hiker. Um, Filtrate water filtration system. Then in the top here, I usually have some sort of outer warm layer 
or a waterproof layer. Um, this is the Peloton 275. Strong fleece 275. Um, usually I'll substitute this out for a guide jacket, but this one is bulkier. So I put it in here just for example's sake so that you guys know that all this stuff will fit for 10 days. Um, but sometimes I bring both if it's gonna be really cold but usually just the guide jacket and then my insulation layer. <clears throat> For my insulation layer, I usually double this as my pillow also. Um, this is the Kuyu Kenai jacket. Awesome jacket, just not very durable. So I only wear it while I'm glassing or in the tent or um, not gonna be walking through anything because this will snag on stuff. Mid layer, this is the Peloton 240. Um, awesome micro grid, breathes pretty decent. Um, depending on what time of year it is, usually I'm wearing either Tiburons or Katanas for my pants. Um, this pairs up really, really nice with them. Then my food. This sits, this sits on top of my spotter to protect my spotter from the outside of the bag here. This is just a outdoor research dry bag. Typically, this is a lot bigger than what my food would normally be because um, I vacuum seal all my food flat and into about a three inch by three inch square. Um, I just vacuum seal everything down and I can shove like 15, 16 days of food in here with a bunch of snacks. So that is the food. Then on each side of my spotter, I'll lay this pack down and I'll open her up so you guys can see. Well, I guess we'll go through the beaver tail pocket. Usually in this pocket, I carry my extra underwear, socks. Usually I only carry one extra pair of merino underwear and then usually two extra socks just in case one of my pairs gets wet. And then I have gloves. And this is just kind of a random combobulation of um, headlamp, uh, tripod attachments if I want a glass with my binos, uh, another lighter, some Luco tape. Um, this is like my possibles pouch. This just has like a bunch of random in case I need it stuff. And then also it has my eye patch in it and usually an extra eye patch. I like to bring eye patches if I'm sitting behind my spotting scope for a long period of time. It just helps with the eye strain. So I bring an eye patch. They're like two bucks at Walmart. Great investment. Um, but that stuff all goes right here in the front. Um, sometimes if I know that it's going to be like a rainy wet hunt and I'm going to be, and I want a glass under a tarp, I'll put a tarp in here as well. But in this case, it's not So <clears throat> into the main beaver tail pocket, <clears throat> fold this back, kill kit. I usually just leave it close to the bottom of my pack as possible. Um, so there's the kill kit. This has game bags. I think there's four game bags in here, a knife, my tag, all of that stuff goes right here in the kill kit. Jet boil with a spoon inside, heaters inside, the gas, all that stuff is all inside of it. Then my tent, uh, one piece on each side of my spotter. This is the Argali Awahi one-person tent. This is the insert, and then here's the tent. The stakes are in with the tent itself. And then my spotter. I always bring my spotter on mule deer hunts. This is a Leupold SX4, uh, 20 to 60 by 85 millimeter. It's pretty heavy, but I love this thing. Um, so it comes with me on every hunt. And that sits right in the middle above my sleeping bag. And then the sleeping bag, this takes up the most space in my pack. Um, this is a climate 20 degree synthetic mummy bag, but it's so comfortable that 
I'm okay sacrificing a little bit of space to make sure that I bring this. So that is about it for the inside of the bag. Outside, sleeping pad goes right on the bottom of my pack. And then I usually have a Nalgene bottle with water. And then in this accessory pocket on this side, I usually carry my inReach, extra batteries, um, anything that I might need to get to very, very quickly. And that about wraps up everything I need for a 10 day backpack, backcountry hunt. If you guys want more detailed stuff, um, if you go onto my website, I'll link it down in the description down below. I do have a gear list uh, on my blog posts that change, that lists everything that I bring on a hunt, even down to my sight, rest, quivers, broadheads, everything. Um, and that is a live list. So as things change on the list, the list will change as well. Um, so I'll link that in the description down below. If you guys like videos like this and you wanna see more videos like this, uh, let me know down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video.